Okay, so today we're going to be, well, tonight, well, today, this is going to be a long, over, way overdrawn video, like, way, 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 way overdrawn video. I've been getting a lot of questions about, like, teach me how to do makeup, like, what all I need to do makeup, and, you know, what to buy, what should I... What should I get and stuff like that? So I'm like, and let me just make a video one time so I don't have to keep repeating the same thing, you know? And I was supposed to make this from a long time and now I'm finally making it. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the stuff. I'm going to be talking about the stuff that you basically really need. And just for like when you walk into the beauty store, you know exactly what you're going in there for. So you don't be too lost and you know just get straight to the point get in and out and i'll tell you like the in from the inexpensive to the expensive stuff you know just in case but this is mainly just for like beginners and people like on a budget just basically just want beginner stuff it's not like over the top stuff basic stuff basically basic stuff basically and all of that so let's just get the brushes out of the way the brushes is obviously the main part i think it was like an 18 or a 10 piece brush set they look like these they look like these i don't use all of them but it's very nice i am not sure it wasn't really like a name brand but first of all you could buy a brush set from amazon my first brush set came from amazon which was these these I would not recommend them and I'm ordering some new ones so look up for a review on them just in case but these like the hairs is like pulling out this is like the only 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 brush that I could have salvaged and this brush from that whole brush set like I still have the brushes but they are not like all that good no I would not recommend them like they come in 24 sets or 10 piece sets or 12 piece sets or whatever basically you don't need half of them brushes as beginners you just need the essential brushes like what you're gonna use every day the first brush you would need is a concealer brush this is one it's like a don't mind the tape because i had to lay a while you know don't watch my flicks but it's like this some people use like an angled brush why are all these brushes in my hand <laughs> some people use like an angled brush something like this one but but this is my eyebrow brush this is for my pomade we'll get to this brush but some people use a brush like this um I don't know if I would recommend this brush as a concealer brush. I never really use the brush, but this works quite well. It's like just a flat, rounded brush. Next is your eyebrow brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in a number seven, and then it has a spoolie and the brush for your eyebrows. I have a foundation brush, which is all, which is like a flat brush. It's just a flat brush, so it helps you, like you know, put on your foundation. Uh. This is my flat blending brush. I use this to like blend on my concealer right underneath my eyebrows. I have a video on my eyebrows and I will link that down below for anybody that wants to see it. And then you have a powder brush. You have this type of powder brush which is like more precision. I discovered this when I just bought this whole like set and I was like wow this really like moves around my powder and like you know set it into my skin and take a while of excess powder is really really nice. I love this. And then you have like the fluffy powder brush. I just dust everything away if you watch like my very first makeup video you see me using like a big big one uh i think it's from not too sure where it's from but you see me using one of these and then you have the don't judge me but i don't know what the bottom is for this i really don't know this is like for your contour for your powder contour we'll also get to that too it's like an angled powder brush so it gets like that angle that you want and then looking at that popping highlight you got the highlight of it save some highlights still on this brush mm, yes hunty so those are like your main brushes which you would need that those are like my everyday brushes they are the brushes that i use but concealer like underneath your eyes you could use a concealer brush and this is a tapered brush that you could use for like underneath hair. I haven't used this in a while because I went to the beauty blender. Love beauty blenders. This one is still damp for me doing my makeup and it's really, really dirty because I have not washed this in a while, which is bad. I just need to get a new one because somebody look at this. See this? Y'all see? I don't think y'all see. But like, look at this beauty blender. Where am I going with this? I need 
to get rid of this but you could order beauty sponges you could order them from Amazon I think you could get like a pack of like five for like six dollars a pack of six for like six dollars a pack of six for like ten dollars you could get like a pack of these for cheap instead of going and buying them in a beauty supply store for five dollars one for five dollars that makes no sense I'm just saying if you order stuff a lot I will link the link down below for Amazon for the Amazon one you know just in case I know this video is not so we already have all our tools so we just need the products to go with the tools so let's start with our eyebrows for my eyebrows I use Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade and this is in the color dark brown these go for about $18 in Macy's and Sephora and it could lead up to about 22 if you decide to get it from Amazon I think but these are really they are like kind of inexpensive I know I like Mm, I don't think it's LA Girls, but I think Clean Color has a pomade. I know other like brands and stuff have pomades, but I never really tried them because I just stuck to Anastasia. But before I I did the pomades, I used pencils. I never used that. I mean, I did use the Elf pencil like twice, but I have this Elf pencil in brown. But you could get these at any at any beauty supply store, or you could order these. All oh, they're in Walmart. These are like two dollars. Two dollars. Elf is really inexpensive. You could find Elf products from about $1 to $20 the most. Elf is really, really nice. You could use those two on your eyebrows, whichever one you feel comfortable with. Just know that with the pomade, you use a brush. It don't really have to be a brush like this. These, I think, yeah, these are sold separately and spoolies are also sold separately. So, but it's just, this brush just comes in handy. I'm not too sure if you could order it online. And I'm not too sure how much it costs. But I know I did, it didn't come with the pomade. You have to buy it separate from eyebrows. You need to conceal them. So you will need a concealer. The best drugstore concealer right now is LA Girl Pro Concealer. Yes, I love these. I have a lot of colors because I do other people's faces. Just saying, I'm not a freak. Because these concealers are like, four dollars in any beauty supply store uh and they're nice there are a high definition concealers you would see most beauty gurus using these because these never fail you expensive side is mac i think this is about 18 to 20 dollars i'm not too sure i'm gonna put the price somewhere you know but this is nice this is in the color nc45 all of my mac stuff are nc45 i don't understand but yeah and then besides those concealers you have nyx maybelline nars smashbox i think and urban decay all of them other concealers you could use all of them but obviously they will be more expensive you still want to be on the eyes for a little bit is your eyeliner you could either use a pomade a liquid eyeliner or a pen Either which one you're more comfortable with. For beginners, I would advise you to pick up a pen. Pick up a pen. Do not think that you could master these right away. Pick up a pen. This is the LA Girl Line Art Matte Eyeliner. I love this in a way. But I just love the precision tip. I just love the tip of it. This is my L'Oreal Paris. I had this L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Infallible, you know, 24 hour eyeliner. Yes, I love this. This is from MAC. I will put the price somewhere I know. This is on more, probably on the more expensive side. But it's just moving up. LA Girls does have one of these. I know Wet n Wild has one of these. Clean Color, one of these. You know, all them got one of these. From the eyeliner, you have mascara. Mascara, the best mascara would be Maybelline. And they last long. And Maybelline has waterproof. Mascara I use is Unique mood struck transplanting gel i got this as a gift but it's really really nice i really love it and it came in like this little kit and it came with a whisk i don't know what it's for never used it but i only use the mascara and it's very nice for primers uh you have primer basically primer is for you know to prep your skin for what you're about to put on it because and then you have to like you know make sure your pores are ready for destruction basically 
and a moisturizer so you can keep your skin moisturized and need all that powder and all that stuff trying to make your skin dry then you have like different primers and moisturizers for different types of skin because you have combination skin oily skin and dry skin they have primers and stuff for all of that I started off with LA girl pro prep high definition Those are like all your pores these you can find in drugstore too. I think they still sell these because I had this forever and you could see that. And I have Neutrogena Shine Control Primer and it's very good. That one is clear. This one is white. And you just rub it in. It has a nice smell. Yeah. It has a matte finish too. And all of that looks like this. Now, what I've been using lately is MAC Prep and Prime and it comes in this little, you know, drop. And it's so nice. It's MAC Prep Prime Essential Oils, and it really smells like oils. I am warning you now if you're going to pick this up, it smells like oils. I'm not too sure of the price to see it on video either. That's my primers. Then you have Smashbox primers. Smashbox primers are like $18, $20. I think it's like $18, And then you have Urban Decay and all them other people. You know, but these are like stuff that you could find in like any local beauty supply store. You could use anything to moisturize your skin. And then I also have a moisturizer. Avino has nice moisturizers too. They also have moisturizers with sunscreen in it. So like some of these foundations and stuff that we're going to be getting to next has SPF 15 in it. Like if you're doing a look that you know you're going to be outside all day and you don't really want to get tan or anything on your face. Or you don't want to get burnt mainly. Get stuff with SPF 15 in it or just get a moisturizer or a primer to put on your face that has SPF 15 in it so you don't get burned. The cheapest foundation right now on the market is Fit Me Foundation. I do not have none to show you because I upgraded and I threw mine to me. They have them in Walgreens, they have them in Walmart, they have them online, they have them everywhere. Even in your local beauty supply store. They have the Dewy, Dewy Smooth and then they have the Matte Polish. So I think like if you have oily skin, I advise you to use a matte. And if you have dry skin, I, I um, advise you to use a dewy. So this is a black opal true color. I know they have like pumps and everything, I, I think now. But I upgraded from this for a long time. But I still keep this because it's full coverage. And that's what I use to like hide my marks. This serves a purpose as my concealer, basically. I am in the color Truly Topaz still. Amazing after how many years? This is like below $20. I know that for sure. And then up from that, people use the infamous MAC makeup. I, I'm using right now MAC Studio Fix Fluid, but it has SPF 15 in it. And like I said, all of my stuff has NC45. This does not have a pump. So I use my concealer. I just wipe off my concealer brush and just use that. The first ever MAC foundation. My first foundation was MAC basically and that was about $18 this now I think costs about 20 something dollars I'm not too sure and they have this they have the pump they have the little um something like I'm not I cannot remember what these call like the little drop they have this and they have another one that doesn't have a pump so you could go on Mac and check them out and then up from Mac we have the famous makeup forever HD and ultra HD because HD was like last year. This is this year. This is for forty eight dollars in Sephora. Just saying, but it's very it's very good and it's like more for like flash photography, like at night and stuff. I would put this on because it is like so good and it does not have no flashbacks. I'm in the color Y four five five. You could get that, and then you have like the L'Oreal L'Oreal Mercier. I'm not. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Then you have. Smashbox, you have Fenty Beauty, which is $34, which is very inexpensive. Then, well, it's like in between. And then you have all those other people. The most inexpensive setting powder I know right now is Airspun. And I think it is about $8, I'm not too sure. And you can get that from Walmart. I don't have it right now, but I have it, but I don't have it in front of me to show you right now. But my first ever setting powder when I figure out when I first figured out all this makeup talk was L'Oreal Paris um Perfecting Loose powder. It's white, it's translucent. It's very nice. I got this from Walmart and it was like cheap. That's probably why I picked it up because it was cheap. It was lit. 
I don't know if you could buy this in any beauty supply store, but I know you could buy the Sasha Buttercup setting powder in any beauty supply store. But I think yes. But this would run for like thirty to thirty-four, thirty-eight dollars. I bought this one for thirty-four dollars in Makeup Frenzy, Oh Kamika Road. If you live in Nassau, tell them I sent you. Yes, cause. They know me up in there, kind of. But yeah, I got it from there. Or you could use any translucent powder once it matches your skin tone. Like for dark skin people, I would not advise them to use like this white harsh thing. I would advise them to use anything like with a color in it. Don't use anything translucent. But for us light like, skin people, we can use anything. We just be all over the place. We just live in a bag out. Now for my contour palette, you could use any powder contour palette to do your powder contour because I have powder contour now and it, and it looks fine, it looks fine. You don't need to go all that cream and all that unless you're doing like a big to-do. But I, this is the BR True Complexion Contour Palette, light to medium. I got this in Walmart and you can see that the contour piece is missing. So I have contour, sculpt and highlight. This was my first highlighter. I still love it, but I don't use it like that because we're gonna get to the highlight that I use now. But this book comes where it comes in handy. Oh, it's Black Radiance. I just say B B R. Didn't even know that. It comes with this nice little instruction manual at the top, and it tells you exactly what to do with your face, you know, when you first get it, and what to do exactly. So if you don't see this, or you're not in Walmart, or you can't like order it or something you could pick it up you could pick up any powder contour palette highlight yes anastasia glow kit yes hunty this was my ever first glow kit and this was a gift to me i think it cost like 20 to 30 something dollars and yeah, I know Anastasia has a lot of new glow kits, but this glow kit, I still have, I still have product. Why am I buying a new one if they're still working? The same break. But they have like these small little square ones now. I'm not too sure of the price I'm going to put the price somewhere. But they are really, they're really cute. Last but not least, you need to set your face. This is the last thing that you need to do before you walk out the door. If you don't set your face, then what is she doing? I, I can't even tell you what's gonna happen because I never made that mistake. But you could use my prep and prime fix plus. I know they have the new I think this is rose water. Yeah, this is rose water. I am out. I have to buy a new one of these, but this is so cute because it fits right in my bag. And it costs ten dollars. Now I know they have a bigger one for like eighteen dollars. What are you gonna put your makeup in? So and your beauty supply store, you should see little bags. They should have little makeup bags if they sell makeup. Because where are you going to put your makeup in? Your hand? No. So they have small makeup bags that you could get, you could purchase, that are inexpensive. They should be like $20 or less, the most. But this bag is for $75. This is way, probably way out of your budget. But I got this because this is a professional makeup bag from MAC and I carry big bags and when I bought this at the time I was doing people's makeup so like I used to put all my essentials in here just in case like on the go someone really wants me to do their makeup real quick or do their eyebrows or I even have to do my makeup real quick I have everything in this bag so basically that's the end of my video I hope I was helpful I hope I wasn't too too long I hope you guys just writing your list as I go so when you go in that beauty supply store you just gonna walk up to them and say hey this is what I want. If I missed out every anything, I, I would put it in the description box below. Anything extra that I mentioned will be in the description box below. All the links to find anything that you think you will need. I will try to put everything. Any other extra tips, everything will be in the description box below. But subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will be back with more videos. I'll just end this video on that note and stop running on because I was talking for the whole video. So bye guys.